much more God. Why? Because God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. It's against nature and they cannot reproduce. It is lost and not love. We're back! I, I'm aware of that. Now the Bible says that your heart is deceitful above all else and desperately wicked. Who can know it? But most people, they say, oh, I believe what I feel like, what my heart tells me. Why? Your heart is deceitful. There's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. Yeah, I am. We're all going to burn hell and have a big lesbian orgy down there. What makes you come to that opinion, miss? Because yeah, like uh, Right after I'm done, okay? We all like women! Okay. Yeah, we're all gay. Well, these women over here, these love. lesbians, one of them, I think, said they're going to hell, the other one said they're not. Oh, okay, I'm well, going to burn it These now. people... I want to eat pussy right now! ...are not coming to their opinions based on the Bible. They just make them up out of thin air. I don't know where they're getting them. But the Bible says that all homosexuals go to hell. All drunk cards, all liars, all thieves, all one one woman miss. One woman miss. I suggest you read Romans chapter one. I suggest you read First Corinthians six, Revelation chapter twenty two, Galatians chapter five. Search for yourselves if you don't believe me, which you ought to do. Search the Bible to see what I'm saying. It's true. Well, really, it says that lesbians are going to burn in hell. It says that exactly. It doesn't say that word for word, for word it but if you look hell. in Romans chapter 1, no. it talks about God, who God gives over to a reprobate mind. What is that? It talks about men lying with men and women lying with women, doing that which is against nature. It's going to say in 2 Thessalonians 2.1 that a multiplies with all the <laughs> the, the Bible no, does no, speak no, no, about no. in the end Love times people will all be seen. But one a moment, man, a woman, a now woman, a lot of woman, people, a, a lot out. of people, they don't care about hell. But what? The Bible I says you're going to weep and gnash your teeth forever. Love you're going to suffer, be tortured for all eternity. Hell is not a party. A lot of people, young people say, they're going to go party with the rock stars in hell. Oh, like a rock. Party well, that's like a rock star. that's party not like what a it's going to be like. like You're going to weep and gnash your teeth because of the pain that God will inflict on Dude, you that you deserve down, for your sin, for your crimes. TV shows like Family Guy, The Simpsons, Seinfeld, Surf, oh, Soap no. Park, and Friends oh, are an abomination in the eyes of God. Why? Because the Bible says fools make a mock of sin. And in those shows, they laugh at sin. They laugh at having sex before marriage. They laugh at lying and stealing. That's weak in the eyes of God. The Bible says to set no you're, wicked you're thing before enough. your eyes. To think on that which is true, noble, and just, and pure. You look at what I'm Hollywood produces. He's created our horror in movies where people are getting killed and tortured, <laughs> and Hollywood calls that entertainment. No, it isn't. It's wicked. Most of the stuff on TV, most of the stuff in movies is wicked. Most of the music of this generation is wicked. You got your Eminem and Britney, Britney Spears, and all these wicked musicians who sing about sex and drugs. These things are not godly. They are wrong to listen to and enjoy. Now many parents, they lie to their children. Many parents say Santa Claus is real. The Easter Bunny is real. Parents lie to their children. But a lie is a lie in the eyes of God. And in Revelation it says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Your only hope to be forgiven is to repent and believe on Jesus Christ. His blood washes away in the fruit of sin. Jesus Christ said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. That no man comes to the Father but by him. 
the claim of Jesus Christ is that he is the only way to heaven. Therefore, every other way is wrong. That means the Buddhists are wrong. That means the Hindus are wrong. That means the Muslims are wrong. That means the Catholics are wrong. That means the Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong. Salvation is not a religion. It's a person, and his name is Jesus Christ. He's a crazy bitch who came down and went by the Messiah. By the way, the Bible shows clearly that showing the bitch is doing God and sin in the eyes of God. Women all the time, they want to be like animals. They show off their body. They want men to look at them and us. That's wicked. Look at the club scenes. You got men and women. Lusting after each other like animals because they want to go and have sex with one another. They don't care about the Bible. They don't care about marriage. They just become like animals when you give into your lusts. Marriage is ordained by God. We as a we as a country had no right to define marriage because God's the one who defined it. Now some people, they believe in evolution. They believe we evolved from animals. And that is contrary to the Bible. You think you're doing a good thing? Well, I heard it everybody say, on a nice Saturday, he formed us and he formed me out of our ribs. This is why I put my cigarette out on him. <laughs> that reminds me that the Bible says that hatred is sin. These women showed some hatred to me. They, they took their cigarettes and my birth of out here, they spat upon this. Can you see the spit? People hate the truth. Look at Jesus Christ. He comes into the world. He never did wrong. And they crucify Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was tortured and killed. And he did nothing wrong. Herod beheaded John the Baptist because John the Baptist told Herod that he was an adulterer. The only reason people are here is because they think you're an idiot. They're taking your fucking picture. That lady is the only one who does anything. And that guy showed him his nipples. The Bible says that the preaching of the cross to them who perish is foolishness. To most people, what I'm saying is foolish. Many people look at me as a madman, but that's what God has chosen to say. It's the power of God unto salvation through preaching, because faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. If you want to have faith in God, read the Bible for yourself. The Gospel of John and Romans. Search for yourself. Yeah, why don't you not be ashamed of who you Because the Bible are. commands you to preach, really? you but it also commands you to search. You are and commands you to preach. The Bible, read my Bible, preach, and you can go and the fuck out of people. That's what it says. I'm still going to stand on this. Some newcomers there. So what I was saying, I was talking about the Ten Commandments and God. I said God has given the conscience to know right from wrong. Yeah, Lying wrong. is wrong, stealing is wrong, getting drunk is wrong, smoking pot is wrong. No, it's no, it's right. Right. Fuck God, smoking pot does everything for you. Man, you are a liar, man! <laughs> what? Oh, no. Looking at filthy pornography is wrong. Oh, I am oh, 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 And looking at that filthy stuff is wrong. Yes, I yes, you are wrong! Choke the chickens to pornography. You didn't answer me directly. <laughs> this you woman the asked me, had I ever done this particular sin? Oh, man. I said that I was not always a Christian. I wasn't raised a Christian. And before I was a Christian, I did many different things. I did not always believe. But then I heard a sermon on the computer. I bought ten commandments, and I saw I broke them. I saw myself as a monster who deserved to burn in hell. 
I saw my crimes against help. God. I was wicked and had no hope. You are still but in that God, same message, I heard the good news me. of Jesus Christ. God. How Jesus died for such a sinner God as me. How he shed right his blood for me and you. rose again. And you know what I did? I got on my knees there and I prayed to God. I told God all my sins. I asked God to forgive a sinner like me. Because Jesus shed his blood for me. And that day, I became born again. God gave me a new heart, a new desire. I became a new person. I desire to read the Bible. I desire to live righteous and holy. He changed my life, and Jesus Christ can change your life too.